What's going on guys? It's Cars here and today we are here at Apple Park in Clark Pampanga in the Freeport area. So it's a good place to hang out if you ever want to be you know, away from the city. Apple Park actually opened here uh, just last February 24, 2018. And it's not even been a year. Today it's, uh, it's April 9. It's a Monday and uh, it's actually a holiday here in the Philippines right now. It's the Day of Valor. I'm not really sure what's uh, the event with that, but that means that a lot of people would come here. And even though a lot of people came here today, it's a pretty okay place. You know, the, you, you can uh, you can get to a ride. You can line up for about 30 minutes, and you're gonna get a ride to one of the best ones, which is actually this one first, which is the tornado. The tornado is a. It looks like a funnel. I know it looks like a funnel, and it's uh, you go around about four times, not around like. You go on a swing four times on it but it has a good drop it's pretty fun pretty pretty fast and i recommend that one if you ever want to you know see what's the good parts of uh, this place the next one is actually the aqua loop and that is a free fall you can see it here so the top two actually that i like already is here and here aqua loop that one has a uh, trap door at the bottom and you just fall free fall 100 meters and it's so exciting, it's so exhilarating. It's it's what I imagine how uh, in those movies, you know, when when pilots or, you know, sci-fi movies where, where when they go on escape pods and they just boom, they go up, up and away and yeah. So the next one I want to show you here is the Octopus Racer and it looks like the Rainbow Inn, those Thor movies. It looks like that rainbow and it's pretty fast. It's one of the easier ones to go to. I think all people can do that. You're gonna have to ride on like a yoga mat thing and you just go around pretty fast and then you go down pretty fast again. And the next one I wanna show you here is the Lazy River. <laughs> the Lazy River, it goes around the whole place and you see all these life vests. Not life vests, they're, uh, what do you call them? In, in Filipino, we call them salbabida, which means uh, lifesaver. Yeah, lifesavers, I guess and you go around and just be lazy you just ride it uh, the next one here is the boogie bay actually it's pretty cool it's just right next to the wave pool and you're gonna see the wave pool it's it's pretty much anyone can go there and you know anytime do whatever you want but the boogie bay it's it's a closed off section of the wave pool where 20 to 30 people get to uh, ride on boogie boards and just try to uh, you know catch some waves i've never done that before and it was pretty interesting and with this, actually, I just want to mention, the lifeguards here are pretty top-notch. They uh, keep an eye on everyone. You'll hear a whistle every time someone does something, and that's about every five minutes, because not, not a lot of people here know the rules or where to go or what to do. But yeah, they're pretty helpful, and they do their job properly. I want to show you again, there's this other ride, uh, the Flow Rider, actually. I think it's a pretty famous uh, ride already around the world. It's like a fake wave again, not like the Boogie Bay, but it's uh, actually just surface with just a very very thin layer of water and you can do tricks if you can and do whatever you want actually if you can the next ride i want to tell you here is uh, i don't know the name but i'm just going to show you it's this thing there's a two two options there's one that looks like a toilet bowl just go around and around and the other one is uh it's just a quick spin just a quick going up and down and there's this other one we rode actually it's uh I don't know what it's called as well. You get lifesavers again. They look like a number eight. It's two people at a time and you just choose one of four paths and you get to ride to an awesome ride. We took the red one and the purple one. I think the purple one was much cooler. There's a part there where you go in a spiral and it's just all black and it was amazing. The price for adults is 950 pesos and the price for kids is about 750 pesos. I think 950 pesos is about $18, $19, and uh, $750 is about $15, just give or take. And here we got these uh, bands, your ticket in, and as well as uh, they say that you can put money inside and hopefully that you know you can buy anything that you need to buy here. And the thing is, we thought that all the things that you need to buy can be bought with these, but actually no. Uh, just It was just the lockers, which were about 200 pesos each, so about $4. And they were pretty small, but mm. and I think also the souvenir shop, the souvenir shop as well. I think it was also for this again. But aside from that, the food, which is important, the food here, you have to pay with cash. I'm not saying that food's bad. I didn't actually try the food. I think my friends liked it. They had to pay cash, which was very weird. Maybe it's because they're not even a year old already. But you know, probably they should have opened when they were all prepared. 
in the end, this whole place is pretty cool. You know, you can have fun just for less than $20 for 950 pesos. You can enjoy a lot of things for nine to five. If you have a day off, you can definitely go here, travel from Manila from 7 a.m. and just get here about 9 a.m. and just enjoy everything. We didn't really regret anything here. It was all fun. That pretty much wraps up the whole, uh, the whole thing. And I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys are interested going here. And yeah, just go here. See you guys next time. See you on the next video. Please like, subscribe, and uh, click the notification button so that you can get notified of my videos every time I make one. Bye. Peace.